Welcome back, Aqua Fitness friends. This is Coach Stacy, and I'm bringing you my Splashing in the Deep workout. This is 20 great exercises to do in the deep end of your pool. The moves are intermediate to advanced, so please work to your intensity. Take breaks as needed. I do recommend a buoyancy belt to help you, and use that noodle to rest any time. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with number one. This one I call a prone glute squeeze. We're gonna go ahead and push that noodle all the way down to the floor. Keep the shoulders relaxed, tuck in your tummy. And then we're gonna do like a ski behind. So we're just gonna alternate long legs right and left behind you. So kick those legs. Now the thing you wanna remember during this one is to keep your abs engaged so that we don't put any kind of tension in the lower back. And we also wanna keep those shoulders relaxed. And the more you squeeze on those glutes to bring that leg parallel to the surface, the more we're gonna work that backside. So stay strong, have some fun, and keep that breathing going. For number two, we'll bring that noodle up to about chest height and you're gonna support into the noodle in the front. I just want you to kick about four to eight times so you swim forward. Then bring your legs in front of you and kick four to eight times and you're gonna swim backwards. So it's a back and forth swim for number two. Now again on these, strong long spine, keep the posture tall and those kicks can be real strong, powerful or they can be more flutter kicks depending on how much space you have. I'd like to see you take up as much space and make those kicks as strong as you can though. me one more and then head back to that home spot and let's get set up for number three. Okay, keep those noodles under your armpits, a tall spine, feet together. Knees are gonna be bent and legs are gonna be beneath you. This is number three, the diamond leg squeezes. So you're gonna take those legs, you're gonna separate them open. They're gonna make like a diamond shape. Feet try to stay together. And then I want you to squeeze those thighs back together. So open with strong hips and then squeeze the inner thighs back together. You can use the hands to skull as much as you need. Are you feeling those hips yet? Only about 15 more seconds. Moving into number four is our rainbow ski. Rainbow is the shape of the noodle. Ski is what those legs and arms are doing. So try to get those legs to extend out as much as you can. I know it's a little more challenging in the deep water there. So do your best keeping the legs underneath you, but stretching those legs out. You're gonna reach the opposite arm forward, pushing that noodle. Try to add some movement now from the right to the left, like in an arc. So you kind of increase the uh, challenge on your core. So the more you change the directions, the more you're gonna challenge your body. So you can just stay right in that little spot if you want to, but if you do some turning from side to side there, looking at the east side of your pool, then to the west side of your pool, something like that, that'll go ahead and challenge you even more. For our next move, we're gonna set up in a plank. Widen up the noodle in front with those hands. Relax the shoulders and then plunge the noodle strong to the bottom. Okay, a strong, long body is a plank here, so tuck in those abs. And then I, with those wide arms, I want you to push the noodle down and then bend the elbows and let the noodle come up. So we're gonna do like a push up there with the arms. As you push down, I want you to open the legs and kind of do jacking motions to the legs. The legs are open and enclosed. You can keep them stable if you prefer, but we're gonna add that lower body with the upper body if you can. So some open and close of those legs and a push down to the floor and then a return to surface at the top with the arms.
15 seconds. Okay, let's bring the noodle to your chest and under the underarms for support here. A tall posture here. and We're gonna keep those legs underneath us. I want you to start just pedaling the feet and kicking down towards the floor. So we're gonna go right, left, kicking down to the floor. But then I want you to add on an outward angle, right, left. So go down, down, out, out. So we're gonna go right down, left down, right angle, left angle, and they're angled out and down. So I want you still pushing towards the pull bottom, but a little bit more open. So it's more of like a wide and a narrow, but these are kicks. So I want strong down toward the bottom of the floor. Just a little reminder of your posture. We're always keeping abs engaged, shoulders relaxed. Stay as strong as you can in that tall posture. We're moving into number seven already. These are your sideways swims. With the noodle long in front of you, I just want you to keep the arms wide. Swim about 48 kicks to the right, and then swim four to eight kicks to the left. Now, when you swim, I want you going sideways here. Just like with our other swims, I want you to try to take up as much pull area as you can. So if you have a lot of space, try to go more distance there. And know that the more you change the directions, the more you're stirring up the water and you're making it a little bit more challenging. So always keep that in the back of your mind. Let's do that one more time. Take that long noodle and submerge it all the way down underneath the water there. Just relax those shoulders. Now let's plunge down and I want you to start skiing the legs underneath you. Ski the legs. Once you got it there, go in with the ski. I want you to take the noodle and then do a lazy eight sweep to the right and to the left. So push down on the right, push down on the left. Now the wider your noodle is, the more challenging it is. So you can bring those hands in. And if it's way too much, you can always go ahead and just, you know, use a thinner noodle or just use your hands too. But the noodle's gonna add a little more fun, a little more bouncing around there. So really try to stabilize your middle. Number nine, low kicks. Now these are wide low kicks. So open up your legs wide and I want you to drive your legs down and out into those left and right angles of your pull. So push down, stay wide. Try to get the hips a little bit more involved on this one. So keeping the hips wide there, we're gonna feel those hip rotators. Now try to stay in as much of an upright posture as you can too. I know this one you're gonna wanna lean forward, try to tuck the tummy in, stay tall. Maybe add a little smile to it, right? Having fun, I hope.
super job. Now let's go ahead and bring that noodle in front of us, widen it up, relax the shoulders and bring your feet out behind you. So we're gonna just start kicking those feet behind you for swim kicks. And I want you to take that noodle and make it in circular rolls downward in front of you. So circle down, around and up, down, around and up. And try to keep it under the surface the whole time. We're just trying to do some spins of the noodle. And I want those feet going to keep yourself in a nice long plank and try to stay in that nice strong tummy too. It's a challenge, hang in there. Let's move that noodle in the reverse direction. So reverse the circles and let's make that water churn a little bit more here. Again, shoulders stay down. I want a nice good plunges of those circles there. You might get a little splashed on this one. Hang in there, keep it going. Finish that up and then bring the noodle onto the left side. You're gonna just support into that left side there. We're gonna ski the legs out to the right here. So now the legs are out, it's like in a sideways plank. And while you're supported on the left, you're gonna also use that right arm to ski. So again, it's gonna be an opposition of the legs there, just like you're skiing only with one arm. And I want those tummies tucked strong, those abs are braced so that way we protect our spine and those legs are nice and long with those sweeps. Can't you feel the size of your body just getting that much stronger with this one? You did such a great job that we're gonna go ahead and switch it to the other side. So take that noodle over to the right side, support into it, and those legs go out to your left side now. Long legs and the arm on the top of the surface there or just gently under the surface sweeping there. Try to get that movement, big range of motion if you can. And again, I want that shoulder relaxed there. So make sure shoulders are down. Just about one or two more, and then we're gonna get ready for a brief break here. This can be for some hydration, because it's still important to drink your water in the pool, or maybe you just need a little rest from those wrists, or you want just a little posture reset. So go ahead and push pause if you need more time, and then come on back when you're ready. Hope you had a great break and you're ready for some more. We're gonna start sitting in your noodle so it makes a U shape there. So just try to find your balance first. Remember, finding your balance is more important. You add the exercise with the limbs after you have your balance. We're gonna widen the legs there to keep us even more balanced as we move into number 12, which is the balancing hand claps. I want those arms to be long and we're gonna open and close them. So open to the sides like a T shape and then close like you're clapping, a big clap. So I have very soft elbows, long arms and I'm trying to bring the hands together like I'm clapping and then I'm gonna push the palms away clans come in to clap and then push the palms away so keep that middle engaged shoulders lax and finding that balance is the most important thing on this one if you do quicker claps you're gonna end up feeling a little bit more to have to stabilize so just, you know, play around with the, the movements and see, you know, what can you do to challenge your body today? That was a great full body challenge for me. How about you? Yeah, feeling those arms too. Now, we're moving into the noodle underneath the right foot. Try to get it right in the arch there as you plunge it down to the bottom. Try to brace your abs so you have an upright posture. Now, with the right leg, we're gonna pump the noodle down, so you're gonna bend and extend the knee in the front. 
and we're gonna add a left butt kicker so it's kind of like a standing up rocking horse so right knee up and down plunge and then that left foot we're gonna bring it up behind you for a butt kicker so as the knee comes up the foot in the back comes down as the heel comes up in the back the foot in the front comes down so stay upright and as you can see me here, I'm using my arms quite a bit to try to stay balanced. So again, whatever you need to do, you can even use the wall if you need support to help with this one. Are you ready to try that on the other side? Now, when you're ready, take it underneath that left foot. We're gonna repeat. So pump down the left side, and as you pump down, the right heel comes up behind, and then as the knee comes up on the left, the right heel comes back down towards the ground. You're gonna use those arms. Try to stay as upright as possible. Try not to lean with this one. Stay tall. That one was good for cardio, so let's get a little breather here for just about 10, 15 seconds. Just put that noodle underneath your armpits there, take a nice deep breath. And I want you to think about resetting your posture. This is really important when we're in the deep end, especially because we want to always make sure that we're taking off the extra pressure from our spine. So reset your posture, take a deep breath. If you need to sit on a noodle a little longer to rest, please do so. You always have those options. When you're ready, bring the noodle behind the back underneath those arms. This is number 14, either lying or sitting crisscross double pulses of the legs. So it's a hip abduction, so it's like a jack, but we're gonna bring those legs in and crisscross pulse two times and then open. So you're gonna close, pulse, pulse, open, close, pulse, pulse, open, close, pulse, pulse, open. So we're trying to keep the toes pointed outward on these ones because we're really trying to isolate those inner thighs. Let's change up tempo for the next 15 seconds. Single pulses, so crisscross, open, crisscross, open, crisscross, open. Okay, let's do that strong. Our next one is long body corkscrew spins, and it's pretty much exactly how it sounds. Keep the long legs together. You can kind of clamp the feet close together there. And I want you to stay in a long body, engaged abs and shoulders down. You can have the noodle tucked in closer or out in a T shape. And I just want you to spin your body around a few times to one direction. Yep. And then I want you to stop the momentum that you got going and reverse the direction. This one's kind of like a playful activity in your pool. It might make you dizzy, so if it does, you can go ahead and admit this one, but I like this one. This is just working all of your muscles here, and you're working against that movement to turn, to go the other direction, so it's really a great full body workout. Steady it out and open those arms out nice and wide, legs down beneath you. You're kind of like in a star shape there, wide limbs. 
And we're going to start bringing the knee tucks upward and inward. This is a hacky sack. So the legs are coming up and inward. And I'm trying to tap my right arm down to tap the inner thigh or the inner foot of the left. And then I do it on the other side. So I'm going inward taps and across body here. So try to stay as wide as you can when those limbs open up. And then you're tucking in nice and strong using those abs. bring those feet closer to the surface here. This next one is core tucks with an extension. So I want you to drive both those knees inward towards your rib cage. And then I want you to kick both those feet out as big as you can. So I want you to tuck strong, small package to a big push out extension. And with these, I want abs very much braced because this is a core workout here and we want to protect your spine. Take a strong breath, breathe through it, and then if you want a little bit more, you're going to go ahead and tuck so strong that you can actually clap underneath those knees. So that's your option for a little bit more, but again, you could just reach down towards those feet if you prefer. I want you to really try to elongate those bodies on those extensions. This next one I call angled ski legs. Now we're gonna close and open the legs. They kind of look like a jack and a ski mixed together, but we're angling on these ones. So I'm using the noodle behind for support and I'm gonna close my legs in front and then I wanna open them out into like a ski and an angle off into one direction, tuck the legs in and then a ski and angle them off into another direction. So it's kind of like a ski jack tuck there. You see how that works with my toes going off into the right direction and left and opposites. So I want you to brace the abs again, use those legs, use those arms, and again, big smile. Finish it up, then have a seat on your noodle. We're going into a U sit, so it looks in like a U. And make sure you're balanced first, of course. And then when you're ready, we're doing a hamstring squeeze, alternating right and left. So I'm starting out here a little quicker tempo, and then I'm slowing down, and I'm squeezing right, then left. So I'm bending right knee, bending left knee. And I'm trying to like put a little pressure to squeeze underneath my noodle there. So I'm trying to squeeze it, release, squeeze, release. You're trying to really engage those hamstrings. Again, the tempo can be faster or it can be slower. I just want it purposeful. So making sure you're doing that squeeze each time. I hope you're excited because we made it to number 20, the last one before our stretch. Now we're gonna bring the noodle down and behind the back under the armpits again. This one is core tucks with extensions, but they're angled extensions. So the same thing we did before, knee tucks into the rib cage right down the center, legs are together, 
but when you extend, I want you to push out to the corners of your pool. So if you don't have corners, just pretend you have a right corner and a left corner, and I want you to push out to right and left. So we're getting those hips and the core to work. So I want those hip rotators, the core to work. I want you to be able to do a little rotation there. So push to the corner, pull in the center, push to the other corner. And again, this one splashes quite a bit. So, you know, mouth closed, just try to finish up strong. We are almost there. And we did it. You should be super proud of yourselves. I know I am proud of you. Now go ahead and stick around for my stretch, but go get some, you know, water, take a little recovery if you need, and we'll get ready to stretch together. And while you're recovering for a moment, did you know that you can get my workouts in print version? It's really great for aqua instructors and for, you know, even when you're traveling and you need a workout on the go, you can always just pull up these cards right by the pool and follow along to your favorite workouts. So just visit me either at the listed address there or at my website or message me anytime. Okay, let's get ready to get that stretch happening. In our U-shaped noodle sit, we're gonna stay tall and I want you to find the balance first and then we're just gonna start stretching out those wrists. Okay, so we're gonna put the palm forward on the right hand here and just put a little pressure. And I want you to just gently pedal your feet to help keep you balanced and to actively recover. After a couple of seconds hold, you're gonna flip the palm so that you're pushing now on the outside with a hand gentle pressure. And then after you're ready, you're gonna to switch to the other side and same thing. And remember, you're just gonna omit any of my stretches today. If anything bothers you, you're just gonna go omit it. And then you're gonna also let your doctor know if something's bothering you. While those feet are gently pedaling, we're gonna crisscross and open the arms. So I know a little crisscross in the front, then open the arms. So those palms are down in the front and then palms are up, open to the sides. So we're trying to stretch the chest muscles in the front and the back muscles in the back. Let's then do a few shoulder rolls, loosen up those shoulders. Bring your feet out in front of you, lie back into your noodle here, just some support. Relax, and I just want you to bend the knee, tuck the right knee in, and then extend the left leg, then do the opposite. So one's tucking, the other one's extending. A little grab and hold at the top. Just gentle, there you go. And now I want you to start pausing a little longer with those knee tucks. Allow the other leg to hang. So now I have my, my right knee up tucked in, my abs are braced, and I have my left long leg just kind of hanging. Do a little stretch for my hip flexors there. Oh, I hope that feels good for you, it feels great. Now let's go ahead and switch our sides. Stretching is all about relaxing and letting the body release. So breathe strong and stay relaxed. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna move into a figure four next. So we're gonna switch the legs first and then set up for a figure four. It's where you cross your foot over the thigh. Now it looks like a four. Now if your hips don't allow, you can always cross down at the ankles. You can keep the legs long or you can bend and bring it up a little bit higher there. And again, I want you just to relax and just feel that stretch. It's time to switch those sides. Okay, let's bring our noodle in the front. Here we're doing a quad stretch. So we're bringing the right foot up behind us, the knee is bent. And I'm just a gentle tug on that foot. And I have my other leg extended down towards the pool bottom. I'm trying to keep my knee down towards the pool bottom as well. Now you can use the other hand to scull the water or just hold onto your noodle, whatever you need. And then when you're ready, you can switch legs here. So, and here I'm just kind of sculling the water and I'm going around in a little circle, just, you know, a little change of scenery. However you need to find yourself to relax.
The next one we're going to stretch through the whole body. So I want you to support your forearms on a rainbow shaped noodle at the surface. Elongate your body so that the legs come up behind you and close to the surface. Try not to droop down too low. I'm doing a gentle just opening and closing of my legs to help keep me more in line. And you want to also brace your abs, so tuck in your abs. Here, if you have a buoyancy belt, it might even help you to stay more afloat there, so you might not even need to kick your feet. Um, you can also, you know, have a noodle underneath your abs if you need that instead. A lot of ways to do this one. I just want you to lengthen through the whole body, find a relaxing space. Then we're going to draw the noodle into the chest, and we're going to lengthen it out to one side, long arm. This is our chest stretch here. And I want you to just pedal your feet and go around in a circle. Open up the shoulder, open the chest, keep a little active recovery going. Finish up that rotation and then we'll switch sides. Just elongate the noodle on the other side and we're going to turn in the opposite direction. Once you completed that rotation, bring the noodle behind your back. So it's going to be more up at the surface, so keep the shoulders relaxed. You're going to have them out into a T-shape, holding on the ends of the noodle, and your feet are going to be in front of you, just a gentle pedaling of your feet. There you go, just a good stretch for the shoulders and the chest muscles. the noodle down underneath so you can sit on it here again in that U shape and I want you to lift your long leg out in front of you let's do that left side first here this is your hamstring stretch I want you to point those toes inwards towards you so now you're going to use your arms to keep sculling the water or you can even hold underneath the leg to help keep it supported and you're just going to hold about a few seconds there and then we're switching the legs we're going to do that same thing on the other side And I wanted to just thank you for taking the time to work out with me today and my deep water exercises. And if you're ever interested in some exclusive workouts with no ads, ones that you have never seen before, I have some with some different equipment uh, and different variety of moves. So feel free to visit me on vimeo.com on demand backslash aqua fit. Don't forget, if it has two eyes in it. And you can rent, own, or have it on demand. Thanks again, everyone, and I look forward to your comments. Take care, and I'll see you soon.